Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and welcome to my channel called Permaslug. Today what I'm going to show you how to build in Oxygen is an FAQ section that you can edit from the back end and that your clients could get in and change without having to mess with Oxygen at all. Um, this doesn't require any additional plugins except advanced custom fields and Oxygen. And then um, this also doesn't require any custom code. You can just copy and paste a few lines of JavaScript and CSS that I give you, and you can still use all of the familiar Oxygen tools to style you know, the backgrounds. The icon here is generated through Oxygen, um, this text element, and then the little cursor hover that I have. That's just a very simple line of CSS. And then this is able to expand and contract. And then you're able to build out the FAQ library just like you would expect. Uh, I've run into this a couple of times where I wanted to build it, uh, but prior to Oxygen 3.0 and the ACF Pro repeater integration, it was really hard to accomplish something like this. So this should be something that will probably be a very useful thing for you to, uh, to build into all sorts of sites. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to move over into our uh, our development install here. And just to reiterate, the only things that I have installed here are Advanced Custom Fields Pro and Oxygen, of course. I already have a page here on the site created called FAQ. And so what we're going to do to start off with is just create a custom field group. And you can just call this like, you know, all FAQs or whatever you want to call it. This name doesn't really matter. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is change the post type is equal to page. And another condition, which is that the page has to equal the FAQ page, because if I had multiple pages on the site, I only want the FAQ fields to show up on the FAQ page. The other thing you might want to do if you're using Classic Editor is put the position too high after title. With Gutenberg, it doesn't make all that much of a difference. Uh, but let's go ahead and just start off by adding a field. So you can just call this FAQs, and then we're going to change the field type to repeater. This repeater field is not going to show up unless you have Advanced Custom Fields Pro installed. Um, and they're also about to change to a subscription model, so go ahead and buy it now while you still can. Um, the price is really irrelevant because of the power that you'll get for all of your sites moving forward. Um, the subfields here, you only really need to. The first one is going to be question, and then the second one is going to be answer. Um, this is, you know, the other thing that you can do here is change the field type to either like a text area or the, you know, what you see is what you get editor, which is what I'm going to change this to. Um, if I were working with clients, I would want to change the toolbar probably from full to basic. So they have enough options to create like, you know, bulleted and unordered lists and stuff. Um, but I wouldn't want them to be, able to be able to do everything. Choose whether or not you want to upload the media button here. And you can also give them only visual or only text editor or whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave this as visual and text. The other thing that you're going to want to change is the layout type. So on the back end, change the layout to row instead of table so that in the table view, because you have two fields, it's going to be 50% width for the question and 50% width for the, um, the answer. And of course, we just want to have that be uh, in a row. So it's question on top, answer on the bottom. The add row for the button label, let's just change to add FAQ, something to that effect. And then that's all we need to do. So just scroll back up to the top and hit publish. Now we can move over to our page and just go ahead and click on edit. Now you're going to see some new fields here. You'll see your all FAQ section. We can just start by adding in an FAQ. I'm going to copy and paste in what I had from the other website, which was just some random questions that I thought of off the top of my head. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste some of those in here. Okay, so I have all three of my questions in here. So now all I have to do is click on update and then let's just scroll back down and click edit with oxygen. So on my FAQ page, I just have a section here with the page title. And so I'm going to start off by adding in another section. You can just go ahead and add in a repeater element. You can change the query type here to use ACF repeater and our ACF repeater field we just called FAQs. And then of course, there's not going to be anything there because we haven't added in the data yet. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is click inside of this initial, um, you know, the main div here, and I'm going to add in another div. This one is going to be the container for our question. Go ahead and assign this div a class of accordion and make sure you spell it correctly accordion instead of accordion. Uh, I made that mistake and none of this worked. So <laughs> if your thing isn't working after you follow this tutorial, make sure you spelled accordion with an O instead of an A at the end. Uh, just click, you know, press enter and you'll get a class called accordion. And because I had this uh, tested previously, it's already got my background and some styling set up. I'm going to get rid of that at the moment and just show you the first thing you're going to want to do is change the width to 100%. 
And then just for the sake of styling to kind of have some delineation, I changed the background color to like a light gray, kind of off-white color, F6, F7, FB. Um, and then what you can do is uh, make sure that this layout is set to stack child elements horizontally. The reason why is because if you want to add in an icon, then the, the icon and the text will be side by side. The icon we can just change like to an arrow of some kind. We'll just do arrow down, make this a lot smaller. And then let's go ahead and add in. Um, you're gonna wanna do a text element here because you need to be able to change the tag of the text element to P for paragraph for the sake of the um, custom code that's actually gonna do the expanding and contracting of the accordion here. Um, so this, you probably will want to set the icon to have, I don't know, like a 15 pixel margin or something like that. And then now to actually get the question in this text block, double click on the text, insert data, repeater field, and then the field is gonna be your question. And then what you'll see is the question pops in. This formatting down here is a little bit wonky. Don't worry about that because it kind of fixes itself on the front end. If you only wanna see the one that you're working with, you can go back to your repeater and change the preview render to single so you just see the one you're working with. From here, let's open our structure pane and we're gonna go click on this div. We're gonna add in another div and let's just do the same thing. Set this one's width to 100%. And then this one assign it a class of panel. And then this panel is actually gonna contain the text element that will be our answer, of course. So click on text. Again, do double click, insert data, repeater field, and then the field is going to be our answer. Insert, and then the answer for, you know, what is the tallest building in the world? The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building. And there's our, um, there's our answer. So let's go ahead and save. Take a look on the front end just to kind of show you what it looks like. And so now there's there's nothing here. There's nothing here to you know expand and contract the actual uh, questions and answers. Um, you notice that my cursor changes to a little pointer guy, and all I did was on this div, I went to hover. I should have set the state to hover, and then under custom CSS, I just typed cursor colon pointer semicolon, <laughs> and that's it. That's all you got to do. Super simple. Um, so now to actually get in our uh, expanding and contracting of these boxes here, uh, what I'm gonna do is click on the repeater element and just click on the code block down here at the bottom. I actually want the code block to be outside of the repeater, just right above it is totally fine. And then click on the PHP and HTML. You can delete what's in here. And then if you look in the description of this video, there's a link to my website, which has the JavaScript code that you can copy and paste right here and uh, just copy and paste it exactly as it is. You don't need to make any changes at all. Again, just copy and paste in this JavaScript code here that is gonna handle the expansion and contraction of these fields. You can find that link in the description. And then all you have to do now, if you want to, is just go ahead and change the layout to display none. You don't, you don't actually need to see the code block because it's just kind of do its thing in the background. Click on save and then let's create a style sheet. Go to manage, style sheets, and then let's add, you can just call this custom CSS or whatever you wanna call it. And again, in the link in the description below, there's a link to the custom CSS. Paste that in here and then you'll notice the uh, actual panel, the, the div we called panel, which has our answer disappears. So now let's save this and go take a look on the front end. So what's gonna happen now is the answer actually expands and contracts just like we want it to. So you can have each one kind of expanding and contracting. So there is the functionality that kind of opens and closes the panel for us. Um, you'll notice in the example from before, I had a box shadow around the answer to kind of give it some delineation. To achieve that look, all you have to do is just select the div that is your panel, and you can just go advanced, effects, you can go box shadow, uh, just something like you know a black 0, 10, 20 pixels, and then change that shadow color to like, you know, 10%, way, way down, something like that. The other thing that I did was go ahead and on the same panel div, I added a transition effect of just 0.1 seconds and the timing function is ease in out. And so that way, when you have the transition, it's a nice little smooth effect like that instead of it just jarring instantly open. Um, if we refresh that, then you can see there is the, the uh, box shadow that we just created. And you'd probably want to take some margin underneath this div here, uh, add some margin. So I don't know, maybe like 25 pixels. Let's save that and then refresh. And we should see that margin underneath the panel box, which is perfect. 
So you can see how easy it is to create an FAQ section that doesn't require any third-party plugin and just using ACF that your clients can get in and edit as well. I've had many instances where clients have asked me um, you know, for an FAQ section. And um, in the past, I used to have to actually go in and edit all this stuff for them manually. But now it'd be super easy to just go do it in the back end, click on publish, and then Oxygen does the heavy lifting for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.